Your instructor may have assigned an instructor graded activity. If they have, you will find this on the calendar. You can also access this by view all content within course materials. If you have questions on how to use course materials, you can view that video. If you have questions on how to find assigned material in your course, there's a video for that one too. By clicking on a day in the calendar, it will bring you to your assignments. How can you identify an instructor graded activity? It's pretty easy. They all have pencil icons next to the activity name. In this example, we see that activity 4-5 is instructor graded. Instructor graded activities include voice recording assignments, essays, and any other type of free response question. This means that once you submit your answers, your instructor will have to grade them before the score shows up in the gradebook. Activity 4-4, which has no pencil, is automatically graded, and this score would report directly to the gradebook. Click on the name of an activity to open it. You will see at the top that it says Instructor Graded. Read the directions to the activity and type your answer in the white box. This activity has multiple boxes for multiple questions. You may also have an activity, an essay type, where there's one question and one big box after it. If you need to enter an accented character, you can use the special characters palette at the top right of the activity. These are designed specifically for the language you are learning. Here we have Spanish. If your course is in French or Italian, German, Latin, or Portuguese, you will have those appropriate special characters. It's very simple to use the character palette. When you're ready for an accent character, move your mouse up, click on the character you want, and, and it's inserted right into your answer. On any instructor graded activity, you have the option to save for later. So if you don't have time to finish, especially on a lengthy essay, you can always click on the Save for Later button. The next time you open this, your answers will be there. One important note, if your instructor has limited the number of attempts per activity, the save for later does count as an attempt. So if you're on your last try, don't save for later. Also notice the resource toolbar on the top. These materials here, tutorials, user guide, glossary, verb chart, e-text, are available to you while you complete this activity. When you're ready to finish, click finish submit for grading. This is always on the top right and the very bottom of each activity. It doesn't matter which one you choose. At the top, in place of your score, it will say pending instructor review. This means that the activity is in your instructor's hands. Your instructor will receive an alert that there's a pending activity to grade and once he or she grades it, it will report to your gradebook. If you have more attempts remaining in the activity, you will see the Try Again button at the top of the activity. If you want to revise your answer, use this. Your previous answers will still be in place inside the activity. You can edit, change, or add to what you've previously written. If you do this, know that your instructor will receive both submissions. The Try Again button does not erase what you submitted the first time. It, si it simply lets you submit multiple entries. Very useful if you have attempts remaining and decide that you want to edit your previously submitted answer. Your instructor will have to grade each entry. When you are done, return to your course 
you'll see a submitted mark next to the activity. If it doesn't show up, it may just mean that you need to refresh your browser. If you click on the activity again and have multiple attempts left, it will open a blank activity. This does not mean that your previous submission has been erased. This only allows you to redo the activity, provided you have attempts remaining. If you would like to review your submitted work, just click on View Submissions. This allows you to go back and review each submission you sent to your instructor. Once your instructor has graded this activity, you can review the grade and your instructor comments. The status icon of submitted will also change to passed or not passed, depending on how you did it. We also have a training video to see how to review your work, and one on how to see feedback comments and review your grade from your instructor. This concludes how to complete an instructor graded activity.